Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is product review. I'm a little nervous. You'll see in a second why. These products were sent to me from Influencer, but if you're familiar with Influencer, you know that they are just sent to you, but you're not paid for your reviews. They're just sent for you to try them out and just write up a review, but it's unpaid. But this time they sent me the L'Oreal Ever Pure line, which isn't new. But I believe these two are new. Well, at least the conditioner is new. Because I've been seeing it on Instagram, like the little ads. But I'm not sure if that's because they knew I got it. Because you know how sometimes you look up stuff online and they start popping up on your Facebook and Instagram accounts. So I'm not sure if it's like that or if it's actually new. But I know the actual line isn't new because I've seen it in the store before. I just haven't tried it. So if you're familiar with the Everpure line, you know that it is supposed to be 100% vegan, paraben free. I believe this is sulfate free, but some of it, but some of the products do have silicones. So I know the deep conditioner does have silicones, but I don't think the shampoo does. You can look it up online if you like. It's a really long list, so I'm not about to read it. <laughs> but it is free of all the other stuff. So the shampoo they sent smells nice. Kind of like a men's cologne to me or something. I don't know. Or something you find in a hotel room like their products. So it's the goji scent. Which I thought was goji berries. But I don't know. And this is a repair and defend shampoo. Deeply strengthens, protects from color aggressors, and natural botanicals. So it's the color care system. My hair isn't color treated, but whatever. So here's how that looks shiny purple container i'm sure you've seen it before in the store the blue lid i just use this uh it's okay would i ever purchase it probably not um i have other shampoos that i think work better especially sulfate free shampoos or like cleansing conditioners like the fam it was just okay to me it got my hair clean but i think it got it like kind of dry i give it like a two, maybe if it smelled better, we'd get a three, but like it's not at the top of my list at all. Will I finish it? Probably, or I might give it to someone I know. It's kind of hard to do now because I don't have people here that I know like that, but eh, it's okay. But the main product that I'm nervous to try is this Intense Repair Hair Sheet Mask. Yes, you heard me say it right. It is a hair sheet mask. Hopefully, that'll pick up. And it comes in this, which looks like a pillow pack. But it's like a sheet mask, but for your face. I mean, it's like a sheet mask for your face, but for your hair. Am I nervous to try this? Heck yes. Do I think it'll work? Not really. I just feel like it's not going to get enough product on my actual strands. And also, this has dimethicone in it. So if you're like anti-silicones, then read the ingredients before you buy these. Yeah, I don't think this is for girls with thick hair, but we will see what happens. It says five minute hair spa for damaged hair. Ha! We'll see how that works because five minutes. <laughs> no. So I'm going to leave it on for, I'm not going to lie, I was going to say 10. I'll leave it on for 15 minutes while I throw some laundry in and see what happens. This is 100% sulfate free. That's fine, whatever. It says it's the Camellia Flower. Let's see what happens. Okay, what do we do? Dimethicone is like the second ingredient. So yeah, I'm only using this now because I'm about to blow dry my hair. So what else? I'm just gonna deep condition it if it doesn't work. And I don't think it's gonna get much product on all of my hair. So I'm not stressed about the combs. So yeah. It says before getting in the shower, open the pack and unfold sheet mask. I'm not doing it in the shower. It's doing too much right now. So let me see. Oh, well that's a joke. Okay, I thought it was gonna be wet in there. It's not, it's like a second pack. <laughs> a pack within the pack. There you go. So I guess it's supposed to be like a shower cap with your conditioner already in it. I don't know what's happening. Shampoo, hair, and rinse. I already did that. After shampooing, twist and wrap hair fully into the cap. With flat facing forward place sticker to seal. I guess I should take this off. They broke my hair. It's been in a bun for a week. And now it looks crazy because it's been in a towel for about 10 minutes. Uh, okay. 
I never have to even read directions like this. I do feel the conditioner in the pack. Doesn't feel like a lot. Okay. Open it up. <laughs> it's all in there. I hate floral scents and it smells very florally. So, mm. I can do this. Is my hair gonna fit in this thing? This is definitely not enough conditioner. <laughs> Look at this. Can you see this? It's just like lightly coating the sides like butter. What is that gonna do? Okay, let's be serious now. Okay. Open the pack and unfold sheet mask. Okay, got it, good. Shampoo hair rinse, got it, good. Twist and fully wrap hair into the, how am I supposed to get my hair in here? So yeah, that's all I gotta get the outside. <laughs> thin hair maybe if not don't do it I'll be back I'm back for rinsing it out I left it off for I think 10 minutes or 8 minutes I don't even remember like I said the package says 5 if you have thick hair I'm put this as nice as possible you may want to steer clear of this product my hair felt kind of soft after rinsing it out but there are silicones in it which that's what they're made to do so use at your own risk definitely was not enough product for my hair it only coated like the perimeter of my strands the product was definitely on there because when i rinse it out i could feel it coming out but i don't i don't think it was moisturizing like that definitely wasn't enough product it was kind of annoying because the way the bag is, it doesn't sit tightly around like your edges. So you can have stuff dripping down your neck. Yeah. This was a flop. Don't waste your time. If you have thick hair, maybe if you have thin strands, 
that aren't highly textured, it might work for you. You know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's, an, it's two thumbs down. I'll give it like a one for originality. Sorry, not sorry. Can't help it. Maybe if the smell was better, we'll give it two. Like I said, I don't like floral, and this was like the camellia flower. It wasn't my cup of tea. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it or try this product. Let me know down below if you liked it. Let me know any other products you would like me to try or videos down below in the comments as usual. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.